Hello Hattrick friends, it's time for episode 64 of Let's Play Hattrick in San Marino with Inter Calvajo. This week we start out in the classic way by calling one of the scouts. Let's start with Primo this week. We need a new gem. 16 years old. Hmm. Nah, it shouldn't be hard to uh, reject such a player. Resility. 16. Easy rejection. Boring, though. 15 years old. Claudio Limandri. Remain with weak winger. Emerge with inadequate passing. He might actually be a winger prospect. We'll stick him in a wing position for the next match. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, we can do that. Limandri. Like this. And uh, since we are training Mengi here, trying to finish him before promotion, we'll see how he does in the wing position. All right. In the training department, we did have two pops, Jakukeva popping to Formidable and Glenn Demane popping to Excellent. So we'll be trying to move on Glenn Demane in the coming week. Let's just take a look at the planner before we move on to the sheet. So this is the current training cycle, six weeks left of defending, and I'm starting to look forward to playmaking. I said that last week as well, but um, let's just take a preview of how the players should be performing after a 15 week playmaking stint as well, leaving Francioni on magnificent, magnificent and brilliant for Camerlini. Can't wait to get started with this, really. Anyway, we need to look at the sheet. So hopefully we'll start seeing an increase in the HGMS with the excellent coach. And certainly that will be the case once we start training playmaking. But the main trainees, the core players above 2K, as always, you love to see it. I've updated the transfer compare for most of the players here. Well, all the profit players at least. And we are somewhere around 22 million euros. We still need to find the, a new trainee here. This was the spot for Daniel Ruling, and hopefully that will increase the transfer compare considerably for the future, and hopefully we can make some profit in the last six weeks of defense training. We do have to be careful though, because we are only training defense for six weeks. We'll have to look closely on which kind of player can actually make for a good amount of profit in just six weeks. In the midweek, we did play against the primary team in Denmark, and we did get some extra time, extra training, and uh, no injuries, so that's perfect. If we look at the performances here, you'd see Francioni performing to five stars at a wing position. That's pretty decent. Sunday evening, we did play one of the most important matches of the season away against Chan Slancha. Let's just take a look at some of the highlights from that match. And here it is, Tadush Tadush Gomola. On a goal down the left in the 84th minute, 1-0 for Chan Slancha. So close. Inter Calvajo attacking down the right now. Penalty. Oh no. Liberty. <laughs> the keeper. The keeper scores. La Papera just stole the ball in the middle of the park. Alone against the keeper. Can the other keeper save the night? No, we can't. 2 1 for Janus Lancia. Alessandro La Papera down the left. We almost stole a point here against Janus Lancia, but if you look at the ratings, you'll see that it's perfectly fair that Janus Lancia came up with the win in the end. It feels a little unlucky, but really it was just a matter of time before Janus Lancia would eventually win this one. Let's take a look at the league table. Janus Lancia leading now 19 points, 7 games played. We are halfway. Just like last season, we have Berlin United up there with Janus Lancia. We are in third, but we could be overtaken by BKS Union Belize if they win against AC Trebiketti in the next round. We'll try to see if we can steal some points from Chandler's Lancia, but it looks a little unlikely. AC Vium Zornfri in 5th place, 8 points. And in 6th place we have AC Tribicari with 5 points. The Unknowns have 3 points in 7th. Same goes for San Giusto Calcio in the last place. So halfway through the season and we are in 3rd, which is the target. It does look interesting if we will be able to fulfill the goal for the season and end in 3rd. That's all for this week's episode. I hope you liked it. It'll be a while before next Next update because I will be away in the next week. So have a good time in Hattrick and I'll see you soon. Take care everyone.